Hello everybody, it's Chris Marder 9 here with a new Swedish video. Now, I know it's been a very, very long while since I've done one of these, and for that I apologise. Um, it's just that I've been so into this gaming channel as well, and it's just been quite crazy. <laughs> but um, I've, uh, I've rustled up something here for you guys, um, and it's about sports. Now, um, in Sweden, there are a lot of sports um, that they play over there, like ice hockey, and and uh, they do play football over there, and they have a very special um, sport that they themselves play, but I'm not sure if any other people around the world actually play. But, um, but what I've got here is I've got some words. Um, well, most of these words actually mean the same thing in English, uh, which makes the whole of which makes this whole lesson pretty much of a breeze, but there are some words that uh, you might want to know, um, you probably don't know, um, that you 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 do want to know, basically, um, as opposed to the ones that sound English, like the word football, for example, is just football. Um, you've also got uh, uh, words like um, swimming, um, which does sound very similar in English, but in Swedish it's actually simning. Um, you've also got um, the word tennis, which is just tennis, exactly the same. Um, and you've also just got the word golf, which is golf. <laughs> it's just it's just me saying it in a Swedish accent, really. Um, but there are words in here that are actually quite... Um, difficult to pronounce um, and this is what I've got here this is this is a, I've got a piece of paper here with all the words on here so I can just tell it to you um, and then afterwards once I've done that I'm going to give you a couple of sentences so um, what I've got here as I'm saying I'm going to go through some words with you um, now the word sports um, the word sports in English uh, sorry in Swedish is idrot so let's just go through that word a few more times. So sports in Swedish is idrott, idrott, idrott. And make sure you look at the words as well at the bottom because that that will uh, that will come in very handy for you. Um, now the word archery. Now archery is a very strange word in terms of the the Swedish language. Um, there are a few inflections here and there that's not that's not seen in English language. Now the word in Swedish, uh, the word archery, is borg hitter. Of course the word will be at the bottom, so just go through it. Borg hitter. Borg hitter. Borg hitter. And if you want to know, the word pil in Swedish is an arrow. So archery in Swedish is borg hitter. And the Swedish word for an arrow is peel. Um, so we've got that out of the way. Um, now, Olympic Games. Of course, it is very fitting that I am doing this Swedish lesson on sports because of the Olympic Games. Albeit they have finished now, even the Paralympic Games. But um, I thought it would it, it would still be very fitting to do an Olympic Games kind of related. Swedish lesson. Um, now, Olympic Olympic Games. I just said Olympic Games. Then Olympic Games in Swedish is Olympiska Spelen. Olympiska Spelen. Now I'm kind of. It's difficult to say that word. Olymp Olympiska. I think it's Olympiska Spelen or Olympiska Spelen. I'm not really too sure. But uh, if you do know, if you, all the Swedish people, make sure you comment below to help me out. I know I do these Swedish lessons but I even I'm learning so you know it's it's important that I get a lot of a uh, lot of feedback from you guys. Um, now there's a very there's a very popular sport in Sweden that not very many people play outside of that country and it's a game called bandy um, and in, in Swedish it's in a bandy and apparently from what I've been what I've been seeing from my sources it is the quickest team game in the world. Um, so let's just go through that uh, one more time. So the word bandy 
in uh, English or in Swedish is inne bandy. So one more time, inne bandy, inne bandy. And that's a very very quick. In fact, it's the, like I said, it's the quickest team sport in the world. So it's a good thing to know that. Um, the word for an athlete or someone that performs during like in sports or anything different types of sports football the word for an athlete is idrottsman so let's go through that basically you take the word idrott which is sport and it's ba it, it in it translates into the word sportsman but it also means an athlete as well so it's just it's just combining the two words together and making one word to to mean something else so the word athlete is idrottsman, so basically sportsman. So let's go through it. Idrottsman. Athlete is idrottsman. Idrottsman. Um, and I'm assuming that the word athletes is idrottsmen, which is the A dot dot at the top. I'm not sure. If, if I'm completely and utterly wrong, tell me. Um... Now, what else is there to, to know about? Oh, just the word boxing. Uh, boxing is boxing. It's just the addition of an N. Um, the word game, of course, is spiel. Spiel. Um, and the, the word player, or as in a football player, um, is spielare. Spielare. Player, spielare. Player. Spielare. It could also mean gamer as well, spielare, but that's not for this channel. Okay, so we've we've gone through some words. We've gone some gone through some really good words there. Um, so if you if you want to go back and just repeat this part of the video, you're more than welcome to do so. Just rewind, play it back again. That's that's how you learn those things. Um, so now we're going to go on to some sentences. Let me just write sentences down. Just so I don't forget. Okay, so we've got some uh, we've got some sentences here that you can use, which which adds the these these words that we've just been learning just now. So we're take, we're going to take the word football, which is football, and we're going to or soccer if you live in America, uh, and we're going to take it. We're going to use that word and put it in a sentence. So. Say that you say that you play football. I play football in Swedish is Jag spelar football. Jag spelar football. Jag spelar football. And that's uh, that's how uh, that's how you would say I play football. Um, now let's take another word from that uh, list of list of words here. We'll take the word tennis. Um, and we're going to put this in a, like a more of a past tense kind of way. So the word, well, the, the if you take the word spielo, if you remember in my a few videos ago we talked about uh, past tense and present tense. So you'll probably know how to figure this one out. So the word tennis, or the, the, the word to say, I played tennis last week, would be jag spielade. Tennis för veckan. Jag spelade tennis för veckan. So the word för veckan means last week. Jag spelade means I played. Or you could also probably say jag har spelat, which means I have played. But um, that's kind of a different way of saying it. That's kind of like saying, oh, I've played it. I have played it before, or something like that. So, but in this case, we're talking just I played, as in the past tense. So you would say, Jag spelade tennis för veckan. Or if you played it yesterday, Jag spelade tennis igår. Igår means yesterday. Um, so let's go through that word for a few minutes. For a few seconds. Yesterday, igor, igor, igor. So, that's that word. 
Um, now, let's say that you wanted to, you were planning something and you were saying, I'm, I'm going to be playing tennis or football tomorrow or with friends. Excuse me. So you would say, Jag kommer att spela fotboll imorgon. So, Jag kommer att spela means I will play or I'm going to play. Uh, football means, of course, the word football or soccer. Imoron means tomorrow. Imoron means tomorrow. Um, and if you're playing with friends, you would say med vänner. Med vänner, which means with friends. Or med familjen, which is with family. So, Jag kommer att spela fotboll imorgon med vänner, which means I'm going to play football tomorrow with friends. Or you could possibly say, if you wanted to, with my friends, which would probably be med mina vänner. So, there you go. So, as I said before, as I stress in most of my Swedish videos, or pretty much all of them, if you want to carry on learning this, keep playing this video until you get all the pronunciations that you want. And hopefully you'll be speaking sports in Swedish in no time at all. Um, of course, make sure you check out loads of other um, different types of people. There's a guy on YouTube called The Swedish Lad. And he also has a different um, channel called Prince Word. But he's an excellent, excellent YouTuber, and he's got some really good videos up there. He's got like Swedish videos that um, talk about words in English that sound very similar to Swedish, but they mean something different, or they, or he has different types of lessons like that. Definitely check the Swedish lad out. I'll post his link in the description, and I'll, I'll also post his other channel, Prince Word, in there as well. But uh, he's he's quite popular on YouTube. He does he's. Everybody knows that he's popular on YouTube because he's got the the custom thumbnail thing. But um, he's a very good YouTuber, and I highly recommend him if you want to if you want to know about words that are similar English words that are similar in Swedish, but they mean something different, or or things like that. He comes up with these really really awesome videos, and he's got that humor as well. If you watch the he, if you watch his videos, he's got that humor. So. Um, so that so he's a very good guy I recommend. And also check out Go Swedish as well. I'll post that link in the description. And she's very good as well. She does these very uh, good um good Swedish lessons. Um albeit I think she did like one video the other day, but it was like oh it's been ages since they've done a video. So um do more. <laughs> um but yeah, hope you enjoyed this Swedish lesson. Um, and until the next Swedish lesson or whatever video I decide to put up on this channel, I shall see you later. Hey, dog.